In this problem, we have an object ACD that's rotating, it's pure rotation. And we have another object BE that's sliding through the tube at CD. And we are asked to find the velocity and acceleration of B in the rotating frame and the angular acceleration of the body ACD at this instant. We're told this distance is 0 0.5 meters and that the angular velocity is 3 rads per second. We're also told a couple of things about the absolute velocity of B. That the velocity of B is purely in the j-hat direction. We're also told that the acceleration of B is zero. Now these are absolute terms as viewed from the fixed frame. This is a rotating frames problem because BE is sliding against a rotating object. So we're going to have to put a rotating frames axis and I'm just going to put it here. So it's going to be oriented with the, our original xy axis, it's attached at A and it's rotating with the same angular velocity and angular acceleration that ACD is experiencing. So let's write what we know. We know that the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame has to be in the x direction only. That's because BE is constrained to move only in the same direction that CD is aligned. Similarly, the acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is going to be in the X direction only. Now I just want to note that VB with respect to A in the rotating frame can also be VB with respect to A relative. We've got omega equals minus 3 rads per second in the k-hat direction. And RB with respect to A is going to be minus 0 0.5 in the i-hat minus 0 0.5 in the j-hat. So 0.5 and 0.5. I haven't put my primes here because we can, um, we can equally do our equations in xy or x prime, y prime. They're actually the same orientation in this case, so it doesn't matter. We know that vb is going to be the scalar vb in the j hat direction. We'll assume that's positive. And then ab equals zero. So we'll write our rotating frames equation for velocity. The velocity of point B equals the velocity of point A plus big omega cross R B with respect to A plus velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame. So we know that the velocity of point A is zero. A is a pin. It's not moving anywhere. And we can plug in what else we know. We know big omega is actually little omega. So the rotating frame is rotating as the, at the same angular velocity as ACD. That's the, by definition, the rotating frame rotates with that object that it's attached to. So we'll put in what we know here. So we've got VB in the J hat direction equals minus three in the K hat direction crossed with minus 0.5 i hat minus 0 0.5 j hat plus the scalar vb with respect to a in the rotating frame in the i hat direction. We'll do out that cross product and we get vb in the j hat equals 1.5 j hat minus 1.5 i hat plus the scalar VB with respect to A in the rotating frame in the I hat direction. And we'll do components now. I hat, we get zero equals minus 1.5 
plus that relative VB with respect to A in the rotating frame. That ends up being VB with respect to A, the vector equals 1.5 meters per second in the I hat or I hat prime. Okay, great. And then in J hat, we find we have VB equals 1.5. So we can find that the velocity of point B is 1.5 meters per second in the J hat. And the, the numbers have told us that it's positive. Great. So now we need to do our rotating frames acceleration equation. Now we have to write our acceleration equation in the rotating frame. Acceleration of B equals acceleration of A plus big omega dot cross RB with respect to A minus omega squared, the scalar, RB with respect to A plus two big omega cross VB with respect to A in the rotating frame plus AB with respect to A in the rotating frame. Great, so we know that AA is zero, it's a pin, and we've been told that AB is zero as well. This is going to be alpha, that's one of the things we're looking for. Um, sorry, this should be big omega, the scalar. There we go. That's omega, this is omega, the vector. So we're gonna plug our values in. We're gonna have zero equals alpha k hat cross with a minus 0 0.5 i hat minus 0 0.5 j hat, that's rb with respect to a minus a negative three rads per second all squared times minus 0 0.5 i hat minus 0 0.5 j hat meters plus two times minus three rads per second in the k hat crossed with 1.5 meters per second in the i hat, that's VB with respect to A in the rotating frame plus the scalar AB with respect to A in the rotating frame in the I hat direction. Okay, so we're gonna do out these cross products and what we're gonna find is we have zero equals minus 0 0.5 alpha in the J hat plus 0 0.5 alpha in the I hat plus 4.5 i hat plus 4.5 j hat minus 9 j hat plus a b with respect to a in the rotating frame the scalar in the i hat we're going to split into components in i hat we've got zero equals 0 0.5 alpha plus 4.5 plus a b with respect to a in the rotating frame. In the j hat we've got zero equals minus 0 0.5 alpha plus 4.5 minus 9. This second equation gives us 0 0.5 alpha equals minus 4.5 or alpha equals minus 9 and so we can write that alpha the vector is minus 9 rads per second squared in the k hat direction. Great. So knowing that value from the I hat equation, we can get zero equals minus nine times one half is minus 4.5 plus 4.5 
plus AB with respect to A in the rotating frame. These two cancel and we find that AB with respect to A in the rotating frame equals zero. Thanks for watching this video. Find more videos and material at Mechanics Map.